Okay, uh, bonjour et bienvenue et welcome to another episode of Fully Charged, uh, this time coming from Nice in the south of France, where I thought it was going to be raining, but it's actually quite hot. Um, this is the new Nissan Leaf, the new longer range Nissan Leaf. Not the long range Nissan Leaf, as some people tweeted me, it's longer. So this is very similar and very familiar to me, uh, because I'm having driven the Leaf for five years, uh, but it has, instead of a 24 kilowatt hour battery under the floor like mine has, this has a 30 kilowatt hour battery, six more kilowatt hours, 25% more storage capacity. And what Nissan have done on this test drive is not go, just go for a drive around the town and have see what it feels like. They've said, see if you can get really up this really high mountain without running out. And some people have done it really well. Uh, one particular journalist I know, lovely Rory Reed, who actually features in a, an episode of Fully Charged from years ago, managed to run out. He's the, only, he's the only journalist who managed to run out, but that's because he has a right foot problem, as in it's, it's ridiculously heavy. Um, so I'm currently driving through the back streets of Nice, um, trying to get used to quite a, a very nicely updated sat-nav. Um, the, the information in front of me is very familiar, but it, it, it feels exactly the same as the, as, as the Nissan Leaf I drive, which is the very first generation of the Nissan Leaf. This is, the, this is a greatly improved version. And uh, at the moment, this um, car is registering 225 kilometers of range, which uh, is a lot more than it used to have. Weather forecast for Nice today was lousy until I got here and it's boiling hot. Marvellous. Uh, so uh, I, anyway, so I will report later on on uh, how I get on on this drive. So far I've done 0.6 of a kilometre, so it's difficult to really judge how different this car is at that point. It does feel very familiar at the moment and very, um, it's very nicely put together. And I'm just full of envy for people who are going to get a 30 kilowatt hour leaf because that really jumps out. I think realistically, the second generation leaf, which is the very common one, the one that's made in Sunderland, w would do a realistic 90 miles on normal roads in normal weather in normal conditions, and not 100. Um, uh, you know, getting 100 would be hard. So in normal driving, you you get sort of 85, 90 miles quite easily in those cars. In this one, I would guess you'll get 110, 120 in normal driving conditions. Uh, which is fan which does make a big difference. 120 miles is as far as you want to drive in one go without having a wee, a comfort break. So I actually think that's uh, this is going to be a really big jump for these cars, and particularly now in the current climate where there's a lot more interest in electric vehicles generally, and Nissan have a very uh, finessed product that they're bringing to market. There we go. I should do PR talk for them. There's no way to describe the route we took other than stunning. Of course, I described it as the Alps, and that's incorrect. It's the southern Massif Central, and it is fairly massif. The roads were very twisty and turny all the way up. Apart from enjoying the scenery, I was constantly trying to minimize my energy use. We climbed well over 1,000 meters, or 3,280 feet, up into the mountains, going through this extraordinary one-way tunnel and out into the high peaks. So, that's 75 kilometers I've been driving since I left Nice. Uh, most of that's uphill. We're now at over 1,000 meters up in the Alps. Uh, it's beautiful, amazing drive, really stunning. The car has been absolutely extraordinary, so it's very, very noticeable that if you have a 30 kilowatt hour battery, you go further on one charge than you do on a 24 kilowatt hour battery, which kind of makes sense. So the first 20k, which is mostly along the flat uh, ground uh, around Nice, uh, the first 20k only used one bar in 20k, which there's no way I could do that in my leaf. I would definitely be a lot less than that. So that's what 15 miles on one bar. But once I started climbing up, obviously it used a great deal more. What's really annoying is that the um, the record for arriving at this hotel uh, that the other drivers have done, they, they've arrived here with 46% of the battery remaining. And I thought I was close to that because as we were climbing up and climbing up, I was going, wow, still 60%, oh, still 50%. And then it just you just keep climbing and climbing, climbing, climbing. And I got here with 39%, really annoying. I'm quite upset about that. 
uh, because I thought I'd be better electric car driver than other drivers. They're clearly much better than me. We're going to have a bit of lunch and then the rest of the journey is all downhill. So what the, the ambition now is to arrive at the hotel we left from with 39%, i.e. we don't use any to get back. We'll see how we get on. The return journey to Nice was far less stressful and it was very obvious we had more than enough juice to get back. So we've done it. We did 150 kilometres, which is just over 150 kilometres, about 100 miles on one charge up a big mountain, down the other side. Amazing thing was when we left at the top of the mountain, we had 41%. I'll have to check that. I can't now remember because I did, did I take a picture of the 41%? No, I forgot. And when we got back down here, we've got 31%. So we basically did 70 miles using 10% of the battery, which is extraordinary. A lot of that was downhill, but it's still a long way to travel. So clearly this car can do well over 100 miles. It's not empty now. We're now going to drive it back to the hotel. So uh, it's definitely going further than the old Leaf. There's no question about it. There's one thing we've proven today is that the Nissan Leaf, the new Nissan Leaf with the 30 kilowatt hour battery goes further than the old Nissan Leaf with the 24 kilowatt hour battery. So if you're going to buy a Nissan Leaf, buy the one with 30 kilowatt hours. Makes sense.